Hello, everyone. Good morning. How are you doing this morning? Hope everyone is having a great day and maybe you're waking up and having a nice breakfast and getting things done today because that's what I got planned for today. Just doing some reacts and then getting a lot of various things done in my day. So today I am reacting to Foodie Beauty's live stream called Eating Pizza in My Car at Midnight near a haunted battlefield <clears throat> excuse me so foodie did this live stream last night where she decided to drive out to a haunted cemetery battlefield do a sloppy pizza mukbang in her car and use a ouija board and i've got so many thoughts about this live stream but before we get into her live stream there's various things on twitter that I've gathered together that I want to talk about first. Uh, some of the clips are highlight clips from that stream and also previous streams that kind of tie into this live stream. So let me just go ahead and share the screen so you guys can see what I see. So there's Foodie. There's the live stream that she did. And she went to a cemetery, I guess, to promote her new Patreon and to try to get people to sign up. And so she wanted to do some uh, Vlogtober type content, although I watched the live stream and if she was trying to get people interested to whet their appetite, to sign up, it, it really wasn't anything exciting, to be honest. It, it, it was just foodie finding yet another location to eat in and to talk all kinds of nonsense. But before we get into that, Let's start all the way over here, because as you can see, i got a lot of tabs open, a lot of tabs. Uh, some of the tabs have the highlight clips that are on Twitter and also other stuff she's done in the past, just as reminders of things that she said. So here is the first clip, courtesy of Shenanigans. Shenanigans is always great for getting some highlight clips from Chantal. So in this one, uh, Shenanigans says, the only time grateful Chantal appears is when her money has disappeared. And I agree with that. Chantal is not grateful for the money that she earns on YouTube. Actually, let's change that. She doesn't earn the money on YouTube. She doesn't earn her money. She does not work for her money. She just shows up, turns her camera on and makes money. And that, to, in my opinion, that's not earning anything. But uh, let's play the clip from Shenanigans. What pie thing, it didn't work. I mean this sincerely, you should make Pete get a job, I would imagine. Doesn't help your financial situation supporting him and out of stress. Actually, he's the one who, who brought that up. He said he wanted to look for data entry jobs and stuff. So he's he's actually being responsible himself. I don't want to fully shit on him, you know. Thanks for the super chat, Louise. Well, you know what, Chantal? If you don't want to fully crap on him, then don't. I support Pete looking for a job. I support him going out and making his own way. I think he needs to. He's an adult person. He needs to go out and make his own way and not look at you as being somebody there paying the bills and assuming that you'll be there forever doing that. I support him going out and taking care of himself. I think it would be good for him to earn his own money. And also would give him some financial stability and security, knowing that if if anything happened to you, he could take care of himself. It would make him feel good about himself. So don't crap on him for going out and getting a regular job. Actually, I think you need to go out and get a job. Then maybe if you did, you would be more grateful towards what you do on YouTube. You would understand how hard it is for people to go out and earn their money and why they get so angry at you when you scam them out of money. But please go ahead. He does take the time to, and thanks for anyone who sent super chats. I feel like I don't, I just, maybe I do take you guys for granted. I feel like I don't say thank you enough, maybe. Like, thank you for the money you guys give me every night, you know. <laughs> tips, it's tips. People get tips for their work. But you don't work. You do not work. And no, you are not thankful enough. You're not grateful enough. There are smaller YouTubers that when they get a super chat, 
or a super sticker, no matter how small it is, they always say thank you. And there are many clips out there, Chantal, of you putting down people just because they didn't send you enough money. How many times have we heard you, if somebody sends you a dollar ninety-nine, you'll say something really disgusting like, oh, you only sent a dollar ninety-nine. You're putting down a person for giving you money, even though you didn't earn it in the first place. I guess what is my work? Just entertaining you, I guess. I don't know. Being the social leader of us all, the queen bee. You're not entertaining anybody. Let's be honest. When you do live streams, you're not entertaining people. You are simply just filling up time. You're not even entertaining yourself. You sit in your chair, looking bored, eating. Anybody could eat a meal. Not everybody wants to have a camera on while doing it. So you order food and you sit there, you have your camera on while you're eating your food and you're not making entertaining banter for your audience. How is that entertainment? It's not. As evidenced by your lack of views and super chats these days, because if it were entertaining, wouldn't you be making more money? Yeah, you would. Either. <laughs> I don't mean to take you guys for granted. I really but you do. Really don't. But you do. And you know why you do, Chantal? Because you just happened to wander onto YouTube ages ago. And the mukbang craze was everywhere. And you made yourself a part of it. So you decided, hey, I'm a binge eater. And there are people eating lots of food on YouTube. Since I'm a binge eater, I can capitalize on that. I can monetize that. Instead of calling it binge eating, let's just call it mukbanging because that's a craze going on right now and make money with it. And you did. And you attracted a whole lot of feeder fetish people over there at the time. But it would seem like those people have kind of disappeared on you, maybe because you mixed in too much of the natter drama. And that's not what they're there for. They weren't simply just getting their fix from you. You were mixing in too many things that they weren't interested in. So you lost a lot of those people. And so if you're doing these mukbangs, binge eating things on YouTube, I would take the clue that's being passed to me and figure out that, you know what? I've lost my feeder crowd. Maybe I need to focus on something else because they're not coming back and do something besides eat on camera because you sit there you probably eat more in fast food takeout than you receive in super chats you know like the, the numbers just start evening out instead of making more money by eating you're losing money because you spend a bunch of money just to do the mukbangs you're not getting that money back when it comes to views so that is the first clip from shenanigans oh here's another picture that uh, let's see who posted this. I want to give them proper credit. Future Becky says Chantal canceling her postcard tier with zero postcards sent just to start another postcard tier on another platform. So yeah, that's that's something that's happened too. So Chantal has started another Patreon, or she's trying to start another Patreon. So she has the postcard. She had the postcard tier. Many, many months, nobody got a single postcard. So some of those people that are paying for the postcard tier, they spent what, 60, 70, 80 bucks for a postcard they never received. And, and honestly, this picture, it's this is so Chantal. This is so her attitude when it comes to her YouTube channel. When it comes to the postcard tier, when it comes to any like this, this is her attitude when it comes to Twitch. Hey, everybody, sign up to my Twitch page and subscribe. This is her attitude. This is so Chantal. Look, I got the money and screw you. You're not getting anything. I, I got something, but you're not going to get anything. Screw you. I got what I wanted. This is her attitude right here. You want a picture that shows the Chantal attitude towards YouTube? her audience this is it right here 
This sums her up in just like with no words, no words needed. So thank you for posting that future Becky. Okay, this is an old clip. Everybody remembers it. This is her in Cuba. Let's all just remember what she said. The sweetest pie tomorrow? Oh, you know it. You know I'm gonna manipulate the fuck out of you and you're gonna eat it up and you're gonna watch me. <laughs> The sweetest pie tomorrow? Oh, you know it. You know I'm gonna manipulate the fuck out of you and you're gonna eat it up and you're gonna watch me. <laughs> that's another, that's that's also the Chantal attitude. I'm gonna manipulate the F out of you and then come on the next day and be sweet as pie and you're gonna forgive me and I'm still gonna make money. <laughs> that's her attitude. Not coming on YouTube and thinking to herself, what can I do to entertain people? What can I do to entertain people? And by doing so, I make money. No, it's the other way around with Chantal. What can I do to make money? And who cares about entertaining people? It's just all about me getting benefited, but nobody else getting something in return. But I wanted to play that clip because everybody just needs to keep that in mind when they want Chantal, and especially if they spend money on Chantal. She is someone, she manipulates people. She lies to people. She'll turn on the fake tears when she thinks that she needs to. She will say and do whatever it is she thinks she needs to say and do to get even a little bit of money out of your pockets. This is not someone that believes in fair business. You know, an exchange of goods and services for a fair price. No, this is somebody who's all about let me just set up some quick, rich scheme and make it work for the moment and get something out of it before people figure it out. Okay, so this is from her haunted, this is the live stream I'm going to cover. And this is also from Shenanigans. Let's see what she has to say. Please! Kaya secured legal counsel. You know what I said? Join the fucking club because you know how many times I'm getting sued? And I hate all of you fucking bastards. You know what? I'm not being fake nice to anyone anymore. Just to make just to be acquaintances. Screw everybody. I hate all of you. There you go. So she comes online and says to her VIPs, I love all of you. I love you so much. She just said, I hate everybody. She does. She hates everybody. That includes you, VIB. She hates you too. She loves your money. She doesn't like you. What are you to her? I mean, I'm not trying to be mean here, but those of you in her VIB chat, those of you that are her viewers, what are you to Chantal? You are strangers. You are people that she will never meet, never talk to. You just get up in her chat and if you pay the $5, you're giving her money. She doesn't care about you. She cares about what's in your wallet. The same way that Natter only cares about Chantal because of her wallet. You're all just a bunch of dollar signs to Chantal. You know, the more dollar signs, the more she's happy. She doesn't care about you as people. She doesn't care about how you feel. She doesn't care about what you want. She cares about herself. Okay? So let's just keep that in mind when you watch her. Okay, so this clip right here, this is from, who is this from? Excuse me for a second. Uh, Chicken Pickle. Thank you, Chicken Pickle. So Chicken Pickle posted this. So this is from Chantal's Patreon. So Chantal said for Patreon, I guess the page is under review. Honestly, Chantal, you should not be setting up a Patreon right now. You had a postcard club that you didn't do anything for. You have an OnlyFans that you really don't do much for. You have a Twitch channel, which you don't do much on. And you have your YouTube channel where you're not interested in doing content. So if you're interested in doing content, wouldn't it be more important to satisfy the people on the platforms that you already have up? I mean, they are paying their membership. Why not be fair? You've got four platforms that should keep you busy for a while, but 
just setting up another tier, another platform with membership. Everything that Chantal does, she always sets up the paywall first. And she doesn't even do it after she makes content for that platform. It's always, let me get the money first. Chantal's attitude, let me get the money first. The people get nothing. I'll just continue to make empty promises to them and keep them waiting. And in the meantime, she gets the money. So if her Patreon is under review, good. She doesn't need a Patreon. She's got four other platforms. Okay. She needs to get busy working on those. Those should keep her busy for a while. She doesn't need another one. She only needs another one because she wants to scam more money out of people. So Fork Sniffers posted this tweet saying, in case anyone is considering her Patreon, thank you, Fork Sniffers, for posting this. Oh, my God, Sherry. Hi. Oh, my God, the postcard club. Thank you, Sherry. Even though it's a scam right now. Oh, my God, Sherry. Hi. Oh, my God, the postcard club. Thank you, Sherry. Even though it's a scam right now. And she says this with a smile on her face. Like it's funny, like it's a big joke. I think Chantal gets just a kick out of scamming people. I really do. I think she's just, she's evil. And she gets a kick out of seeing how far she can push her VIBs and her members, how much money she can get out of them. Maybe in her head, she's thinking, these people are so stupid. I could do anything. I could be the most offensive person on YouTube. I can, can just take their money and take their money and they'll still give me more. How stupid they all are. Ha ha. And that's why she's laughing. I don't consider it a laughing matter when you take people's money and you don't give something in return. But Chantal thinks it's a kick. She just said it's a scam. So does anybody want to sign up for her Patreon? Anybody? Anybody out there want to sign up for a Patreon where you'll be paying money and you won't get anything? Promise you, you won't get anything. You can bank on that. You can't bank on her promises because we've all seen they, they're worth nothing. But let's go on to the next clip. Okay, this is from, oh, excuse me. Okay, this is from Shenanigans. All right, so this is this is from the stream last night that I'm going to cover. Uh, so Chantal wants to pawn off Pete's and BBJ confirmation that she hates them both. That makes me so sad. You know, in the past, Chantal has talked about getting rid of BBJ and talked about BBJ dying. Chantal, if you don't listen, if you don't love an animal, it's time to give that animal to somebody else. Honestly, honestly, it's time. If if you're not feeling the love and you don't want to take care of it, it's time to find that animal a new owner. Not keep it with you and make it suffer. That's just, it's so unnecessary. There are people that have come forward saying, I'll take care of her. Please find someone who will do right by her. She really deserves it. She's 20 years old. She didn't do anything wrong. This is, it makes me sad to hear this, but go ahead, let's, let's play the clip. Send Pete's to live in Kaya's shed. And you know what, she's, <laughs> let me go off for a minute. Not this one, shaming Kaya for where she lives and calling it a shack when she's over there and she don't even have a home. And she's got to move and she's not even sure about where she's going to live. Talking about a mansion she's not even in. And she's looking for apartments and she thinks she has the right to shame Kaya for where she lives. Not you, Chantal, not you doing that. Kaya's got a place of her own. Whether it's big, or it's small. Her name is on the lease and she's paying the bills and paying the rent. What about you? You don't even have a place. So you need to have several seats, ma'am. Take the whole stadium if you need it. You ain't got no right to put down anybody's living situation when you're not even sure where you're going to end up. You need to step off of Kaya and leave her living situation alone. Because she's a hardworking woman. She works on YouTube. She's got a job. 
What have you got? What have you got? You don't even have financial security. You're on YouTube. And if YouTube pulled your channel, you would be in a world of hurt. You would have nowhere to go. Your car is not even reliable. It's about ready to fall down underneath you. You need to back the hell off, Akaya. Akaya, do you have any room for PE and BBJ in there? You know what? Whenever she talks about getting rid of the cats, it's always BBJ. What about Sam? She never says what about, and she doesn't include Sam. Notice that? So she wants to get rid of Pete's and BBJ, but not Sam. Anybody still think that there's no favoritism in that house when it comes to the cats? Clearly there is. She's always She always clears off her desk to let Sam sit in front of her so she can pet him. She's always pushing away BBJ. Again, Chantal, if you are feeling a certain kind of way about BBJ, you don't want her, please, ma'am, please give her to somebody who will take care of her. She's old. She needs special care. She needs special food. She needs to go to the vet to have her oral issues worked out. If that's too much for you, give her to someone who will do it. You're evil to the core, but if there's even a shred of kindness in you, use it to make sure that cat's taken care of. At least do that one good thing in your life before you go and wreck the rest of your life, okay? Do that. Okay, so what else we got here? More from shenanigans. I'm telling you, shenanigans got to be is going to be on my Patreon. Shut up. I'm not ready for you yet, Chantal. I'm not ready for you. So Queen of W2TF says, where are all the postcards, ma'am? Yeah, where are they? Been several months, not a single postcard. Not one. Where are they at? So this film I'm doing is going to be on my Patreon. No, it ain't because the Patreon's under review, so ha ha about that. Which I'm going to keep up once a week. No, you're not. No, you're not. Listen, anybody paying for anything related to Chantal, can I offer up some advice? And this goes for anything in life, whether it's her channel, somebody else's channel, whatever. If you're someone spending your money on something, even if it's $5, make sure that there's something worth paying for. Be a smart consumer. Make sure that there's something worth paying for before you lay down your money. Don't lay down your money on empty promises. Make sure that there's something there. Now, if Chantal set up a Patreon or an OnlyFans and she had a buku of, of content, just a buttload of it, I would say, yeah, there's something there, maybe worth the money. You would definitely be getting something for your money. But if there's nothing there and she hasn't started to make content, what exactly are you paying for? Her empty promises are worth zero. Wait until there's content before you dole out your money to her. For sure. For sure I'm going to do it. For sure. Yeah, you said that about the postcard club. Where are the postcards? People paying 70, 80 bucks for postcards they never received. And postcards don't cost that much. So you can't say, oh, it's too expensive. And if they are, you should refund all the money to all the people who paid all those months, my opinion. Uh, let's go to this other clip beneath this one, also from Shenanigans. Hold on a second. Chantal's response to a super chat asking why they should pay for her Patreon. Screenshot below the comment she's responding to. So, yeah, somebody asked that early. I'm going to get to that in the stream. So this is what her response was. Lupa Princess, thank you for your super chat. Um, because I'm a human being. And? Who has a right to earn extra money. You do. But here's the problem. You don't. You don't earn money. That is the entire problem. If you had 10 platforms going, 10 different tiers, 10 different VIB whatevers, and you were making content for all 10, I would say you're doing fair business. You are working hard and you're earning your money and you deserve that money, but you don't earn it. 
you just set up the paywalls and then people start paying and then you screw off. That's the entire problem. You don't earn anything, Chantal. Turning on your camera and just taking money is not earning. It's not. So that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> don't try, just do. There is no try. Trying means you haven't done it yet. Just do it. I'm trying to expand my career because the more platforms you are, if you rely on social media as your job, the more you can branch out, the better. Now that's You don't even look at social media as your job. Because when you have a job, you look at it from a professional angle of this is my work. And anybody who goes to work, you know that you get up in the morning or afternoon or evening, whenever you work. You take a shower, you get some a meal, you get dressed, you get out the door, you go to your job, you clock in, you do the work prescribed to you, you clock out. There's a ritual. She has no real rituals. She has no work ethic. There's no professionalism here. So it's not a real job. And if it were a job, you'd be fired by now, Chantal. Fine and dandy. As long as you can keep up with the demands and make the content, I realize that. <clears throat> so, yes, I do plan. I'm trying to be realistic and say once a week I should be able to do a vlog or, <clears throat> excuse me, for Vlogtober era, I'd like to do like little short films. And I think you guys will like them. So I feel like I have a right to charge for them. You know, like if I'm going to put in the work, I feel like I have a right to charge for it. This is how I pay my bills. I'm an entertainer. You don't. You're not an entertainer. Please don't call yourself that because you don't entertain anybody. You're just a YouTube train wreck and that is not entertaining. I have to pay for the extra content. So what? What, what are you talking about? The, the Patreon will be is just like extra content. Make money on all platforms as possible. Yes. I always. That's all she cares about is finding new platforms to set up a paywall and urging people to sign up. Bail. I know. I'm so sorry. But I ordered, oh yeah, I ordered a really cute thermal label maker with like a whole bunch of labels and stuff. So I'm going to like design my lab, my logo and I ordered a whole bunch of blank DIY postcards and they're going to be here tomorrow. Really? So that's your postcards? You're going to order some postcards, slap a sticker on them and send them out and that's what people paid 80 bucks for? Anybody out there seeing how she's scamming people? Yeah, okay, whatever, Chantal. Okay, what do we got here? Oops. So here's the actual live stream. So let's get to, let's get to, shall we? Hi, everybody. Missy Moo. Everyone's tired of my nonsense. Are you so this is supposed to be like a haunted cemetery vlog. And look how she's starting it out, eating a pizza. Chantal, you couldn't do that at home? You know, eating food is what you do at home. This is supposed to be something special to get people to sign up to your Patreon. Why couldn't you omit the food from at least one live stream? You're in a haunted cemetery. It's supposed to be spooky. We're getting into October, Halloween. We don't need to see this mukbang content right now. Are you gonna change? No. So you're just gonna have to go watch somebody else who's more wholesome, I guess. Chip skip. You know what I'm tired of? I'm tired of everyone trying to make me fucking change and be someone I'm not. Trying to make me change and be a non-pizza eater. Screw you. I'm busy filming a fucking movie for you all to entertain your ass. Yeah, we see how you're busy filming a movie, eating. You don't look busy to me. So I get a pizza break. That's how it works around here. The peach. <laughs> you're starting out the live stream eating a pizza. What do you mean you're taking a break? You haven't done anything yet. Got it. <laughs> We're ready to clean the villa. Okay, 
Well, at least you had it. <laughs> <laughs> like breakfast. Are your assets in financial situation okay? <laughs> yeah, let's talk about the mansion. So I'm a bit confused about what happened with the mansion. I don't know if it was A, a complete lie about the mansion. She just made it up. Or B, she got scammed by the people and she just doesn't want, doesn't want to admit that she got scammed or C she's going to try to play the angle later that she got scammed and she needs money trying to get money out of people when she really didn't get scammed. I mean, this could go different ways. You know, she said that she was locked in and ready to move into this mansion place. And then she started talking about getting an apartment. So it, it is a bit confusing. Not quite sure what the deal was. Why is that your business? No, they're not. No. Well, that's why I'm trying to work. I'm trying to make a movie. Okay, Bella, it's so good. Anyway, <laughs> Missy Moo, how good is the pizza? It's so good. So I'm sitting here doing this react video right now and people are letting me know that Chantal is live right now and she's probably going to dirty delete this. Uh, my friends are telling me that she's talking about Alex is shook mad about FFG in the fashion show. Uh, and she's probably going to dirty delete. So I'm asking my friends to please record it because I'm in the middle of reacting to this right now. The beat is busting. Mm. Uh, needs ketchup. <laughs> so how are you guys? I missed you guys today. What's new in the YouTube world? <sighs> yes, basic, basic. Pizza is the food of the gods. So this film I'm doing is going to be on my Patreon. Abs well, I don't think so. I mean, because it's under review, which means they're probably not going to let you do it. But go ahead, Queen. Which I'm going to keep up once a week. For sure. Sim Fupa. My discolored rear? Don't make fun of my fucking discolored rear, okay? If the sun don't shine in those areas, there's not going to be any color. <laughs> or no, sorry. There's going to be, like, brown. Oh, shit. Here we go! Poutine bees. I feel like a fat pig, that's why I'm hopping. Can you tell Kaya Simons to stop bullying? Stop fucking bullying S Jan. They want me. They don't usually put this much cheese here. Oh my god. Fuck this, I'm moving here. Mmm. Okay, I don't want to say in my career because the more platforms you are, if you rely on social media as your job, the more you can branch out, the better. Now, that's fine and dandy as long as you can keep up with the demands and make the content. Oh, gee. So she's talking to <laughs> really? <laughs> she's over there talking. 
<laughs> I can't with her. I just can't. If you can keep up with the demand, she sounds like she's so in demand. She's not in demand. The delusion is strong with this one. Like if you can keep, if social media is your job and you can keep up with the, up with the demands, well, apparently you can't keep up with the demand, Chantal, because you have four or five different platforms going and you ain't doing nothing on any of them. So apparently you're overwhelmed and you don't need any more. You need to focus on the ones you already have up. You don't need another one. You only want another one to get money out of people. And that's it. It's not about branching out and being an entrepreneur, which would be fine if you actually worked, but you don't. Hence the problem. You're not looking to be an entrepreneur and branch out to social media and put your fingers in many different pots and and and, and put all the irons in the fire and 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 see everything that you can do. It's about finding different ways to scam people. I realize that. So yes, I do plan. I'm trying to be realistic and say once a week I should be able to do a vlog or Excuse me, for Vlogtober era, I'd like to do like little short films. And I think you guys will like them. So. Here we go. This is a good comment. Kay says, why don't you start pumping out recorded content instead of making a Patreon? Not everyone can afford to pay for another subscription with the current financial crisis. I agree. If she wants to get in the gears of, of being productive, she needs to start on her YouTube channel because that's the bulk of her income. That's her bread and butter. Why not start there? Do some recorded content on her channel. Build up people's confidence in her that because she's doing content on her channel, that means she's being productive and she'll also be productive on those other platforms. Do recorded content for YouTube, some for Twitch, uh, some for OnlyFans branch out and focus on the platform she already has running don't make another one until that happens but no chantal's only thinking about the money let's get some more money in pocket you want to make more money chantal i'm not a financial advisor but this is just some common sense advice you want more money in pocket how about not spending so much money on edibles. I'm sure you spend thousands a month on edibles. And you said you spend $200 a day on takeout. That's insane. Ma'am, do the math on that. $6,000 a month for takeout? You could pay the rent for three people. In three one bedroom apartments for that much. That's insane. Common sense. If you're hurting for money, look at where your money's going and figure out do I need to really spend money on this or don't I? If it's a necessity, it stays. If it's not, it goes. Cut down on your trips to Starbucks, cut down on the edibles, cut down on the fast food. You'll put tons of money back in your pocket just from those things instead of looking for ways to scam people out of more money be smarter with the money you already have dummy oh i feel like i have a right to charge for them you know like if i'm gonna put in the work i feel like i have a right to charge for it this is how i pay my bills i'm an entertainer you don't have to pay for the extra content so what the and another thing you're not just paying let's let's rewind that you are not paying your bills your viewers are paying your bills you don't work other people are paying your way and they're not just paying your bills your rent your food your edibles they're paying for pete's they're paying for the cats they're paying for natter dd how many people do you have on your payroll Again, scale back. Be smart about your money. And you wouldn't feel the need to scam people out of their hard-earned money. 
Nobody should compensate you for your stupidity. There's an old saying, if you give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. If you teach a man a fish, he'll eat for the rest of his life. Nobody should be compensating you for your stupidity and your bad choices and your reckless behavior. Nobody. People should step back and just let you learn to be an adult and be an adult. Stop coddling you. Stop supporting this nonsense because you're not learning. You're not being, you're not, it's not making you a smarter person. It's not making you a more responsible person. And you need to be that. Here's a scary thought, Chantal. If YouTube weren't around, what would you do? Seriously, if your channel disappeared or, and I'm not wishing anything bad upon you, okay? Let's make that clear. You live paycheck to paycheck. What if something happened to you? What if you had an accident or something medical happened to you that you ended up in the hospital or worse? Who is going to be around to pay the bills? Do you have any savings? No, you don't. You literally live paycheck to paycheck. You've got nothing in savings. You don't have a house that's bought. Your, your car's not in good shape. All it would take to take you from where you are to the streets is one missed paycheck. And you're not taking care of your health. You are in a very precarious position. And you don't want to think about that, but that is the truth. One missed paycheck, one horrible incident could topple you from that mountain very, very easily. And when you fall, you're going to fall hard and fast. The Patreon will be is just like extra content. Make money on all platforms as possible. Yes. I always bail. I know. I'm so sorry. But I ordered, oh yeah, I ordered a really cute thermal label maker with like a whole bunch of labels and stuff. So I'm going to like design my lab, my logo and I ordered a whole bunch of blank DIY postcards and they're going to be here tomorrow. You know what you should do? Order postcards. And just buy a simple ballpoint pen and some stamps. It doesn't cost much. Just sit down and write, thank you for being part, part of my postcard tier. Thank you so much for the support. Write that on every card. I don't know how many members she's got, but it would take her all of like an hour or so to do them all if they all post for the postcard tier and mail them out. Wouldn't take much at all. What is that? Is that my crack? Why are you crack shaming me? Walk? So I wrote, yes, babe, I love it. I sent him a fucking photo from when I had, went on a walk last year. <laughs> ha! Colleen. Sherry. I'm also starting a mukbang or story time series on my OnlyFans because I need to tell you about. Yeah, you were supposed to do that before. Remember when you started your OnlyFans, you told people, oh, I'm going to do exclusive story times and and stuff that I can't say on YouTube, that never happened. And she was over there saying, I can't stream on OnlyFans, technical difficulties. Here's something for y'all. She was claiming technical difficulties all that time. And yet, nobody else on OnlyFans complained about those technical difficulties. And if you want to stream on OnlyFans, the only thing you need is a stream key, and those are easy to get. So all of her nonsense of technical difficulties was BS. Nobody else was complaining about those technical difficulties but her. It's just that she's lazy, and she's like, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do this, but 
anything you want to know about streaming anywhere or having a channel anywhere, there are tutorials all day long on YouTube for anything and everything you want to know. She could have found out. Just a simple search would have told her. I think she never wanted to stream on OnlyFans because there weren't that many people that would be watching her. And Chantal needs a lot of people watching her to be happy. So things like Patreon and OnlyFans, there's not that big of an audience. And that bugs her when there's not that many people. She wants the most as, as far as audience members. That's why she prefers YouTube because there's more people here. Some of these encounters. <laughs> and I have a picture from the hotel. You would fucking laugh your ass off. <clears throat> Anyways, I learned a new term today. Cow tipping. <laughs> oh, foodie's in a moody. Yeah, I am, you fucking hamster. Lay off. Sal, L, but not the cool original L. Did you just call L cool and original? I'm in a mood tonight. You're not done eating yet? Good Lord. I thought she was done. I guess she's not done. The Turkish guy would not be happy. And by the way, Chantal, I'm calling BS on your claims of losing weight. Just based on what I'm seeing right now. Everybody who's trying to lose weight knows it's a big, big, big no-no to eat a calorie-heavy huge meal right before bed that's an easy way to gain weight because at night you're getting ready to go to bed you're not working off the calories you will gain weight from that so what do you mean that you're losing weight how can you lose weight doing stuff like this if you're going to eat a heavy meal you should do it right when you get up or in the middle of the day and that way you're burning off some of the calories how can you lose weight eating big heavy meals before bed Answer, you can't. Be with me right now. <laughs> All right. No illegal dumping? Oh, people probably come here to dump all their garbage. Anyway. So the nose blowing is back? Huh. She only blows her nose when she has <clears throat> allergies. Wait, I didn't see that before. That better... <clears throat> Water. Trying to make that coin, yeah. Getting content out for you guys. You guys want some. Okay, Chantal, this is supposed to be a paranormal type stream. We're already 34 minutes in. You ain't done nothing but eat and gap. Get to work. Content, so, you know. So, I just think this is probably the best thing. I do have a lot of people who, you know, steal my content, so. Oh, please. What are we stealing? And what is worth stealing? What? People stealing my content. What are we stealing? What do you do that is worth stealing? What are you being so protective of? You get on camera and you eat and you get greened out. What, what is so valuable about that? I think if I can branch out and try to protect myself with some paid content as much as possible, that's good as you know what in there did that you did up the, the other platforms protecting your content but then you know what you did you turned around and put it on youtube 
<laughs> you went on Twitch. What did you do on Twitch? The same content you did on YouTube. What did you do on Patreon? Same thing you did on YouTube. So anybody on di different platforms, you're not seeing anything. You're not paying for anything extra that's different. It's the same thing. She went on Twitch. It's a gaming platform. Did she do any gaming? No. Even though she has a gaming computer, she bought a gaming computer for gaming. Did she ever do the gaming? Uh-uh. Nope. Nope. What'd she do on Twitch? She ate on Twitch. Ate on OnlyFans. Maybe she posted some nudie pictures. But you're doing the same content on all the platforms. So why are people going to pay four or five times on different platforms for the same content they see on YouTube for free? Well, you know, try to be fair. You're not fair, <clears throat> though. You know, I, if I'm being honest, I don't like the fact that there are people out there who use my entire stream. Cause like I was asking other YouTube friends, like, or other YouTube creators in general, or other just creators, like people I know on Instagram or wherever, like if, if as a creator, if, you know, if you had a whole community of people every time you go live or. Oh, boo hoo hoo. Oh, they used my entire stream and they're making money. Listen, Chantal, if you're getting on YouTube and you can do fuck all in your live streams and make money, then we can take that little bit you give us and turn it around and do something with it. Okay. You don't like the platform. You don't like the fact that there are reaction channels that are taking your nonsense and making it entertaining for other people, tolerable for other people. You know what? I don't think you'd have a problem with the reaction channels if what we did, we did for free. I think what bothers you is the fact that we make a little bit of coin off of it. And you look at that as competition for coin. That's pretty much it. They're making money off my content and they're probably making more money off my content than I am. Well, yeah, because we put in the editing and the time and talking and commentary. We have to make it entertaining because if it wasn't, people wouldn't come to our channels. We put more time, effort, and thought into our channels and reactions than you do into your actual content. So what you should be doing is looking at and going back to the table and saying, what can I do to make my content more entertaining than the reaction channel so people will come to me rather than go over there? That's what you should be doing. Get yourself motivated and do something on your channel worth watching that people will flock to you instead of us. Whatever you do, they take it right away and they use it as their own content. And that's their sole content. And they use your whole thing. Like that would be like, you know, for example, let's say somebody like Nick Akato or Car Carly and Josh. If somebody took Carly and Josh's whole vlog like every time they uploaded a vlog and they talked to, t did that and talked shit talk them the whole do you think they would be okay with that imagine how carly and josh would react or how nick you know what i don't know carly and josh but when it comes to youtube there is no such thing as bad publicity because even if somebody's talking bad about you it's still exposure for your channel so a whole community sprung up around you and your behavior. Did it ever occur to you that's the reason why you're still making money on YouTube is the fact that there is a react community. It's a symbiotic relationship. One hand washes the other. So yeah, we make a little bit of coin off of you, Chantal. Some more than others, but it's exposure for you. And some of the people on your channel came to know of you because of the reaction channel. So stop biting the hand that literally feeds you. Kato would react. He has a he would have his legal team but suing every one of their asses for something. They would find a way, you know. And it's like me. I don't feel like I'm protecting myself enough. I don't oh, feel like. <clears throat> Do you know what I'm saying? No. The bend and snap. Yeah, he really threw his back out. Poor guy. So overwhelming, you know merch yeah and i figure you know what lambo like patreon has 
a lot more tools for merch than YouTube, I find. Oh, so she's trying. I know what she's doing here. She's trying to sell the Patreon right now, pointing out the different things of Patreon. This is a sales tactic. That's what you're doing. But you know what you're not doing, Chantal? Do you know what you're not doing? You're not a very good salesman. Here, let me educate you a little bit. If you're a salesman, you talk about the product that you have to sell. You talk about it in a very uplifting uh, way that appeals to the consumer. You find out what the consumer wants, what they need, what they're looking for, and you talk about it if you have it. The thing is, you don't have any product on your Patreon. You can't say, yeah, I've got this video and that video and I did this and I did that and here's what's in it. You ain't got nothing to talk about. You're just talking about the site, Patreon. But you don't have any product to sell. Yet you're trying to sell your Patreon. This is where you're getting messed up. You need to have something worth selling before you can sell it. So I'm going to be doing my merch through there as well. I'd like to keep a Patreon as a backup because whenever my YouTube channel went down, the Patreon was a really good backup. Um, I had It's called adulting. Well, adulting freaks me the fuck out. <laughs> well, part of adulting is getting things done. So anybody paying for any of her platforms, just keep those words in mind. That you're dealing with a woman who does not want to do adulting. And part of adulting is getting things done, keeping up with things. And she just said she hates adulting. So anybody have any confidence that she's going to do any of her platforms and the people there right? No. Part of this to push content and making money. <clears throat> Work on responding to ALR Repsion. Okay, here's the thing. We're kind of responding to Repzillion and ALR. I fucking hate that. You know what, Chantal? You spend all of your time running around and everybody's community posts, Twitter, pages, chats. You spend too much time running around keeping track of what other people are doing and other people are saying rather than being on your channel and getting things done. If you took that energy where you're running around, paying attention to everybody else and put it on yourself and focus on putting out good content, how much things would improve for you financially? Stop being a nosy busybody running around saying this person said this and this person said that and put that energy on your channel. That kind of thing. I hate that side of YouTube. Like, this is why I'm in my own way of, like, my own success, I guess, because... You're not successful, though, ma'am. You're not. What it, in a way, if it means... If being successful means being anything other than my own genuine self... But you're not. You're not even that. Anybody that goes into your channel that looks at your streams from four or five years ago and who you are now, you're a different person. You catered everything about yourself and your channel around money. You're not being your authentic self. You are being a over-exaggerated, gross, vulgar, evil caricature of yourself. And having to follow a formula of success, I I don't want to do it. You know, like I don't want to do be fake. And I don't know, honestly, I don't know why people don't believe me that what I've been through with Natter actually is was extremely traumatic. It's not traumatic. And I'm, I'm going to say it again. I think you're a victim for views and a victim for pay. You were never abused. You keep going around the guy. You keep talking to the guy. You pay for his groceries. Meeting up with him in hotel and motel rooms. You have no fear. When it comes to Natter, if anybody's abused you even once, you don't want to be around that person. You don't want to talk to them. You want to stay far away from them. And you sure as hell wouldn't get on your channel and taunt that person and get mad and possibly hurt you. I, nothing happened. You just said it happened. That's it. You're a victim for view and a victim for pay. But it was. And... I don't want to watch Repzillion's videos accusing me of anything to do with him and the abuse I've been through. I don't want 
to watch anything that will re-trigger any real well, screw you screw you trying to pretend to be a real victim chantal shut up you're insulting those that have really been through those things you are you're slapping them in the face cut it out you're not a victim you never were a victim you want to be a victim so bad just so whatever it is you're a victim of it absolves you of the responsibility and it's a deflection away from the fact that everything you've done has always been the result of a bad choice that you made I'm a victim. No, you're not. What you are is an irresponsible, reckless, stupid adult. Accept it. Acknowledge it. You are a reckless, stupid adult making bad choices and all the misery in your life is misery that you invited into your life, courtesy of a bad choice or a multitude of bad choices. Be self-aware, be accountable for yourself and to everybody else. Tell the truth. You got a problem with telling the truth because that's part of being an adult saying, I messed up, I screwed up and I'm sorry. And I'm gonna do better from here. You just can't bring yourself to think that way. Really fucking horrible feelings I have associated with my experience. Oh, screw you. With that motherfucking evil piece of shit motherfucker piece of fucking asshole fucking demon I um look in the mirror if you want to see a demon i don't i can't don't even need a ouija board for that one like i can't i don't have it in me right now oh, i'm barely like i'm so tired of you have any room for pee and bbj in there so what did i do today nothing i did some filming no you didn't some work in my social media channels. Created that Patreon. Talk to some people. Uh, so I want to I take a moment to point out a pattern that's been emerging with Chantal. Before she had no problem making it from one payday to the next with her money. And then wasn't it not too long ago that it was revealed that she was taking out payday loans and borrowing money from her family? And usually this would happen about two weeks after payday. Today is the 28th. YouTubers get paid on the 21st or in her case, because she's in Canada on the 22nd. So whatever the heck is going on with her, she's spending more money like crazy and she's running out of money faster. So it used to be like the last week or two weeks before payday, she'd get low on money, but then she'd stretch it until the next payday. Now she's not even it's less than a week and she's broke. Or she says she's broke. I don't know if she really is broke, but you know, like these, this, her running out of money, it just seems like it happens faster and it happens sooner. You need to, Fix that, Chantal. And it's nobody's problem if you go broke. We're not here to compensate you for being stupid. Um, what else did I do? It looks bad, but this is something fun for me, but it's not good for me, so I have to cut it out. Genetically, I have everything again working against me with obesity. My dad is exactly the same way. I'm so 20. I'm so 20. Does that drive away? So this is supposed to be a two-hour stream. She's supposed to do paranormal stuff, and we're halfway into it. We still haven't reached the paranormal part. It's not here. I have to drive 20 minutes up the street. Oh, well, you know, it could be the other person. But if I'm by myself, and the Ouija board moves, and I fucking sure as I will freak out. You know, whenever you something weird like that. Well, Chantal, people tune into this live stream for the paranormal, for something different besides you eating and bitching. And so far, you've just given them eating and bitching. Can we move it along to the weed to stuff? It happens like if you see something uncanny or oh, blah, blah, story blah. times. That's what I said about the hotel. And I have pictures and everything. Oh, who cares? Next. 
You guys are not subbing to my Patreon. Aww. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> she's like you guys are subbing to my patreon yeah because they're smart they're not gonna fall for it twice fool me once shame on me fool me twice shame. fool me once shame on you fool me twice shame on me and you've already fooled people once they're not stupid twice i hope i mean you're doing this stream to promote your patreon so far they have seen nothing different Nothing. You're not a very good salesman, Chantal. You suck at it. I mean, don't you think it's a good business move for my idea? No? Good business move for you, but not for other people. And if you're selling something, you got to keep the customer in mind because those are the ones funding your business. I don't know if I can do the cemetery. Are we are we doing this thing or what? I already made the thumbnail. You guys are ruining my film and everything. How? <laughs> I guess I can do another one. I can keep those snippets for my next film. Okay, I'll do this with you guys, but I am working on a horror film for Halloween for vlog. She's she's I'm doing this for you guys, but she she sounds resentful of doing something different other than sitting at home and eating. Like, okay, okay, I'll do something different. Chantal, you should look forward to doing something different. I, I would get bored to tears sitting home doing nothing. That would drive me nuts. October, so my horror films, my horror short films are gonna go on my Patreon as well. But then I guess tomorrow, my my cleaning routine. Oh, I don't want to hear about this. Next. I don't know. There's and I would. Let's get to that. No! <laughs> I'm going to cry. Okay, let's play Ouija board. <clears throat> I don't even, I'm not opening the door. Before anybody asks my thoughts about the Ouija, I don't recommend anybody playing with those. They are no joke. Some people may believe in them or not believe in them, but my, this is just my opinion. They open up portals to the spirit world, especially if you use them in the wrong way. If you don't know what you're doing, and if you're not about protecting yourself or using them correctly, you are opening up portals that you don't know what's coming out. You don't know what the hell you're talking to on a Ouija board just because if you talk to something and it says it's a good thing, it may not be a good thing. And everybody knows when you use a Ouija, you should never do it by yourself. And what is she doing? She's doing the Ouija by herself. And she's got bad energy and she's not cleansed herself. She's not protected herself. So she's sitting there doing, she's going to do the Ouija by herself. It, it, Chantal, you're an idiot, you know, and I think it's horrible that anymore that you're using spiritual tools and you're doing it wrongly, like the tarot cards. Don't get me started on the tarot cards, girl. I don't think you should be using tarot cards. You're not interested in learning them properly. You know, you're not doing anything intuitively, nothing. Don't fuck around with magical tools or things that involve energy because yours is all messed up. All you're going to do is contact things that are bad. You want to go for a walk out there? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cry. Seriously, that's freaky. Worry in the front of me. So it took her nearly two hours to get to the Ouija part that everybody's been waiting for. Nice to see you've gotten a productive habit here. Thank you. Thanks for the super chat. All right. I think she's an idiot. She's not even doing it correctly. She's sitting there pressing the planchette on the board. You're supposed to put your fingers lightly on the planchette. And if you're doing it right, it'll move by itself. But she's basically pushing it on the board. See, this is why she shouldn't mess around with things that she has no knowledge of. 
Do I put both my fingers or just one? <clears throat> Are there any? <laughs> I can't do it without. I want to say again, I do not recommend anybody play around with a Ouija board. I'm going to say that out loud. Do not fuck around with a Ouija. Just don't do it. It's not a game. Don't do it. You guys can go on YouTube. There are plenty of videos of people that have messed around with those bad experiences. It's not just me. Just don't do it. Don't do it, especially if you're unprotected, you haven't cleansed yourself, you're upset, you know, you've got that upset or negative energy. Don't do it. Oh, Louise, okay. I'm going to turn this light off. See, she's moving it. You don't, have, you don't move a plant yet, you moron. Stupid. She's moving it to make it move. <laughs> That's not how it works. Should I turn my car off? No. Okay. Are there any spirits here? None that want to talk to you. And one part I did skip past when she was starting to do the Ouija board, she immediately, she said she got a pain in her head. That's a bad sign. That is a bad sign. But throughout this live stream, Foodie was, I, I could just tell she was faking it. She was faking being freaked out. You know, she was giggling because she's like, ha ha, I got him. Move this white thing in the middle of the Ouija board. Alexis, thank you, Alexis. <clears throat> so enough with that. Let's go on to the comments. Her sad attempt at using a Ouija board, it, trying to use that as a selling point for her Patreon and for this live stream, and it was just a joke. So as the comments say, S. Michelle says, look how pleased she is with herself, eating 3,000 calories in her car at night. If one could eat their misery away, she'd be the happiest person on the planet. Well, she tries to use food to combat her misery, but all that does is make more misery. Hence why you can't use things to escape from your problems the best thing to do is to deal with your problems and they won't be problems anymore. KK says, foodie, we are respectful of the dead here. Everyone, you don't even respect the living. No, she doesn't. She respects no one alive or dead. Panda says, not even hell wants her. <laughs> That's true. Uh, Fundy says she tells her Beezer she's not going to go out with a married man. She calls him darling and surprise, surprise, lies to him and sends him an old picture of her walking. She is completely worthless human being. You know, if you're looking at somebody for any kind of relationship and you've got a lot of that person, obviously you don't want a real relationship with them, whether it's a friend or something beyond a friend, because if it's real, you can be your free, you feel free to be honest. And you can be yourself. And obviously she can't do that. Uh, Frederick says, scraping the bottom of the depravity barrel. There's not much left, Chantal. Yeah, she's scraping the wood at this point with a spoon, looking for anything she can use or profit off. Oh, no. Nate says, if you want to truly post something haunting, it would be the sound of poor BBJ crying. I, I can't, that hurts just to, to read that. 
but I agree that is haunting. Uh, Naomi says, I have to agree with you. You really don't appreciate the people giving you their money every month via super chats and paid subscriptions. Think about that for a second. Strangers are giving you money just for sitting there talking. Most times you don't appreciate it because you're so busy complaining about your life, the life that you created. Yeah, so busy complaining that she can't see the blessings that life has handed her, that she is absolutely abusing and looking past. Amsterdam says, don't worry, Chantal, my spirit guides told me to tell you. Don't worry, you're already possessed of the spirits of lust, greed, and sloth. Well, she is the, uh, the embodiment of the seven deadly sins. Every single one. She's the walking, talking embodiment of all the seven deadlies. Didn't leave a single one of them out. Let's see. Witching Hour says, stop giving the scammer money. If only. Uh, my sassy bear says, seriously, faking the Ouija board is pathetic. Yeah, and she did. She said they're pushing the planchette around because she wanted to move. She didn't just want to sit there and it didn't move. So she said they're pushing it around. It's not how it worked. Uh, PJ says, how was Natter in the filet mignon? Yeah, so Natter finally came back. And one of the first things he showed in one of his cooking streams was filet mignon. How is he affording that filet mignon? I know he don't have that kind of money. Shoot, I don't even have that kind of money eating filet mignon. Are you kidding me? And he's over there eating filet mignon. When is the last time we've seen that happen? Who is buying that steak, Chantal? I know it ain't him. I know it's not him. Uh, Lemon Pixel says, instead of cleaning and packing, she has been putting all of her energy on how to make more money by doing nothing. She came up with this plan of pretending to hear something and cutting off the video abruptly. How effing pathetic of her to think anyone will fall for this ridiculous act. She couldn't even stop herself from laughing at the end because it was so pathetic. Yeah, you know what? You know why she was laughing? Because she was thinking, ha ha, they fell for it. I got them. Nobody was falling for it, Chantal. Nobody. Uh, Wicked Waffle Witch says, trying to recreate good old money making mukbangs alone in the car days. At this point, you were either scammed with a house or just generally cannot afford it. Yeah, old classic Chantal, her driving around at three o'clock in the morning, hitting up fast food joints and eating in her car. That's That was her old content. I don't know if she's trying to recreate that, but it hits different now. Things are different now. She can't recreate that same energy. Walmart Lip Gloss says, your elderly cat is in desperate need of medical attention. Yes, she is, and she's just not doing it. But yet, she can afford fast food two or three times a day. She can't even say I'm broke and I can't afford it. Uh, everybody's saying that uh, BBJ needs medical attention. Again, I agree. And it's sad she's not getting it. She needs it desperately. Uh, Evelyn says, please don't pay this woman any more money is a scam, by the way. You are coming from Natter or going to Natter. The money she scammed from you is for Natter's lawyers. Well, that's, that could be the whole reason why she's broke anymore. There's just too much money going out the door in all the wrong ways. Money for food, money for edibles, money for Natter. You know, she's not putting her money where she needs to put it. She's just spending it on everything else because she's under the mindset of, it's okay if I spend money foolishly. The people will give me more. But what if they don't? What if they get tired of giving you money and you're wasting it? What's she going to do then? Suffer? Yeah, I think so. Uh, no self-awareness. 
uh, Milk Knight says, so are we monetizing off of unalive soldiers now? Wow, what's next? Grave dug up in Doritos Bees? She's desperate for content, and yet she doesn't have to be. She can just make great content on her channel. She doesn't have to do this. Let's see. Kelly says, sleeping with married men and trying to speak to demons. Yeah, that sounds about right. I would not be swearing to effing G's while using black magic. You already mock God as it is. You know, she's pulling in all that dark energy, you know, and her life is just what it is. Everybody talking about the married man. So that's it for some of the comments. So I'm just going to end the react here. I hope everybody has a great morning and you have a very productive day today. If you uh, want to, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for being here and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Hope you all stay well today. Take care. Bye.